Hello everyone. In this video, I'll demonstrate my Bluetooth home automation project using Arduino Uno. These are the things we need. Arduino Uno board with the USB cable, Bluetooth module, this HC06 module, we'll see it later as well. Relay module, Android device to serve as a Bluetooth terminal, PC to burn the code to at Mega 328p, and breadboard to ease our connection. Along with this, we need few jumper wires to make the connection. And we'll proceed in three steps. First, we'll check the relay module, whether it is working fine with Arduino Uno or not. In second step, we'll connect the hardware. And in third step, we'll burn the controller and configure the Bluetooth terminal. So let's start. So we'll proceed with first step, that is testing our module with Arduino Uno board, whether it is working fine or not. So let's give it a start. In our module, we are having eight, eight pins for input. One is VCC and one is ground, to total of 10 pins. This is the first one, this is the last one. One to eight input pins and one is VCC and one is ground, to total of 10 is there. And we'll connect directly to our Arduino Uno board. We'll use five volt of Arduino Uno as VCC and ground for this module so these are the connection these are simple connection we have connected all the eight pins to two to ninth pin of arduino uno and vcc to five volt and ground to ground and i i'm burning the code to controller see and it's saying done uploading so and here it started as we can hear some quick sound is coming that is relay on and off sound. So, four, five, for three, sound didn't come. This because of power shortage. Shortage. So when first turns off, sound come again. This because of shortage of current provided by Arduino Uno. So this problem can be resolved by using an external power supply. We'll use twelve volt adapter with rating of 1 ampere so if it were fine with that adapter it means we have to use external power for relay now i have connected to it power adapter which i said and let's see see all leds are bright and we can hear all the eight sounds let's see. let's try it again yes two three four five Seven, eight. For all eight, sound came perfectly. So that was only because of power shortage, and this can be resolved by using an external power supply. And this controller, that is at Mega 328P, can handle oh, five volt to twenty volts power input power, which should be in DC. So we'll interface our Bluetooth module with Arduino, you know. and this is our pinout. I have connected only 4 wires. We don't need straight and enable. I have connected receiver, transmitter and ground and VCC. So these 4 pins will go to Arduino directly. So I will connect this VCC. 3.3 volt output of Arduino Uno. Ground as usual will go to ground. And these are transmitter and receiver pin. See, transmitter of Arduino Uno will be connected to the receiver of Bluetooth module, and similar for other connection. So, as per our code, we are defining 10th as receiver pin and 11th as transmitter pin. So, what we'll do? We'll connect 10th pin with transmitter of Bluetooth module and 11th pin with the receiver of Bluetooth module. So we have connected this. Now we connect it to a power supply, USB 5 volt of laptop output. See it's blinking. And I'll burn the code. You can find the code in description. So I'll connect it with Bluetooth terminal. That is my Android tablet. And I am using one of the app available on the Play Store. Android Bluetooth controller. You can use any app. 
which should have terminal support and I am going to terminal mode and see I am getting a message from module please enter A2H so it means connection is established properly so as per our code if I enter small a it will turn on the pin a that is output of second pin of Arduino Uno and similar for ninth pin it is H as we have not connected any indicator or relay module so we can't see the changes so here we are we have connected this relay module directly with Arduino Uno we are not using any external power supply for, but for perfect output we should use the power, external power supply for relay module as well as for Arduino Uno so I am utilizing the 5 volt and 3.3 volt of Arduino Uno for connecting our Bluetooth module and relay module and I am utilizing only the first four relay of relay module because I there might be some case where I am not able to run all the eight modules because of power shortage like we experience in our test so only four I have will take only four in consideration because if we take all the eight I might run into power issue as we faced it earlier these are the four pins which I'll connect directly to Arduino Uno second third fourth and fifth respectively and these will drive the first four relays so in our practical implementation we should use the external power supply but in our case it is just a prototype and we are using internal same power supply for Arduino Uno as well as relay module plus Bluetooth terminal second is for A, third is for B, fourth is for C and fifth is for D A, B, C, D are first four relays so I am connecting them accordingly see here I am connected all the four here I am having extra wire, I remove it And that's all for now. Four pins connected to first four relays, and these are going to second, third, fourth, and fifth of Arduino. You know, these are digital right. These two are tenth and eleven, which I am using as transmitter and receiver. Tenth is receiver of Arduino, and eleventh is transmitter. Five volt of our Arduino unit is connected to VCC of relay module. And 3.2 is 3.3 is connected to Bluetooth terminal. So our setup is complete. Let's power it up. And I have already uploaded the code. You can find the code in the description. So we have turned it on. We are using USB port to power up our device. Even Arduino can't handle four relays because of power shortage. And we'll try connecting it with our Bluetooth terminal. And let's see. I'm using terminal mode again. I got the message. Means Bluetooth terminal is getting enough power too. And I'm getting A to H only message enable any pin I have to enter small a for first and d small d for fourth and caps d for to turn off the fourth one and similarly caps a to turn off the first one so let's give it a try so I'm typing caps a it should close the first pin yes done Cap C should close the second one. I think because some wiring is loose, so we are not getting output on the third relay, and we'll turn off the fourth one. Let me check the wiring again. 
is it wiring issue or power issue we'll get to know i turn on every relay one by one typing small a we turn on the first relay yes it's done b for second one c for third one we are closing a oh but uh, c is some wiring problem is there in c let's skip it and d yeah we are able to operate all the four all the three except one maybe some power issue is there and we we'll try to resolve it and we can bind this terminal to a button so that we don't need to enter it manually and as i thought it was a power issue when i connected it to a dc adapter it all four pins are working fine and let's connect it again terminal mode uh and it's got connected again i am able to see the message i type a caps a it should turn off the first one yes turn successfully similarly for b c and uh what happened c ah yes and the last one caps d for last i turn first one with small a small b i am typing small d small c and small b so all four relays work perfectly with our external power supply to avoid this problem in future we should use supply with sufficient current to drive all our modules and by this we completed our project successfully thanks for watching this video hope it was helpful have a great day bye